A few hours ago, Rick and the others returned to the farm. Daryl began to torture Randall for information. Randall told Daryl that their group had over 30 people, each armed with heavy weapons. They had previously discovered a camp and massacred the people there, taking their supplies. After getting the desired information, Daryl found Rick and the others. After hearing Daryl's words, Rick made up his mind to deal with Randall today. Meanwhile, Carl went alone to Daryl's residence. He found a handgun in the motorcycle bag. Seeing no one around, he took the handgun to the forest. After walking for a while, he found a walker in a swamp. The walker feet were stuck in the mud. Carl first threw rocks at it, and after hitting it twice, he ran to the zombie's side, intending to shoot it with the handgun. But he didn't notice that the zombie's feet had loosened, just as Carl was aiming. When Carl returned to the farm, everyone was sitting together discussing a strategy. Dale strongly opposed killing a living person, but Rick said the threat was too great and one mistake could cost everyone their lives. They were all there, silently waiting for Rick's decision. Dale looked at everyone's expressions and knew the result, so he left. At night, Rick and the others brought Randall to the barn. They were going to deal with him there. No matter how much Randall begged, Rick slowly raised his gun and aimed at him. But just as Rick was about to shoot, Carl suddenly appeared at the door and said, Kill him. No one expected Carl to be there. Shane tried to pull Carl away, but Rick also put down his gun. Carl's words made Rick hesitate again, and he softened once more. He instructed Daryl to lock up Randall first. Shane, angry, left. Then, Rick took Carl back to the camp. He told everyone to temporarily lock up Randall, and make a decision later. Andre happily went to tell Dale the news. While Dale was on patrol, he found a dead cow in the bushes. When he got closer, he realized that Walker had eaten the cow. Just as he was about to go back and alert others, a walker suddenly appeared behind him. Upon hearing Dale's voice, everyone in the camp rushed over. Although Dale protected himself from being bitten by the walker, the walker's hands plunged into Dale's abdomen, tearing apart his internal organs. Daryl was the first to arrive at the scene. He tackled the walker and stabbed him with a knife to finish him off. Carl noticed that this walker was the same one he saw in the swamp during the day. If it weren't for his provocation, perhaps the walker wouldn't have found their location. Everyone looked at Dale, who was beyond saving. Rick pointed his gun at him, but couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger. In the end, Daryl took the handgun. Since Dale's death, Herschel allowed Rick and the others to move into the house. For everyone's safety, they began reinforcing the farm's perimeter defenses. Shane's working on the tower all by himself. Lori watched Shane working alone and felt an inexplicable sense of guilt. She found Shane and expressed her apologies. Unexpectedly, Lori's sudden concern reignited hope in Shane's heart. He went to the barn alone. After much hesitation, he ultimately decided to kill Randall. Only this way could they ensure everyone's safety. But as he prepared to shoot, a perfect plan suddenly came to mind. T-Dog arrived at the barn, ready to take Randall away. But when he opened the barn, Randall was already gone. Shane had taken Randall into the woods. He made Randall lead him to their people. Because he had had enough of Rick and the others and didn't want to die there. Randall believed Shane's words and immediately prepared to take Shane to their camp. But as they passed by a large tree, Randall never appeared again. Shane emerged alone from behind the tree, looking at it directly and then headbutting it. Meanwhile, Rick and the others realized Randall was missing and immediately began searching. At that moment, Shane emerged from the forest, shouting loudly that Randall had ambushed him from behind and stolen his gun. Upon hearing this, Rick quickly ordered everyone to return while he, Glenn, and Daryl went to pursue Randall. Shane approached and took T-Dog's handgun, following them. Daryl didn't find any traces. However, Shane insisted that Randall ran into the forest and suggested splitting up to search. Rick instructed Daryl and Glenn to search the right side while he and Shane searched the left side. The four of them searched until it was dark but found no clues. At this point, Rick began to suspect Shane. He stayed behind Shane 
on guard the whole time. On Daryl's side, they found the tree that Shane headbutted, and next to the tree, they found the rope used to tie up Randall. While they were puzzled, a walker appeared behind them. Glenn prepared to kill the walker, only to discover that it was Randall. After dealing with the walker, Daryl examined Randall's body and found no bite marks. They couldn't understand how he turned into a walker. On the other side, Rick and Shane arrived at an open space, and Shane stopped. Rick had already guessed Shane's intentions, but didn't understand why Shane wanted to harm him. Shane said that everything was supposed to be his, but Rick's resurrection took it all away from him. Rick raised his hands in an attempt to calm Shane down. Slowly, he took out the handgun from his waist and handed it to Shane, approaching him and trying to steady Shane at the same time. When Shane relaxed his guard and prepared to take the gun, Rick sidestepped, avoiding Shane's aim. He quickly drew his knife from his waist and stabbed Shane. Seeing his former best friend dying at his hands, Rick felt extremely troubled. But little did he know Carl witnessed this scene. Carl aimed the gun at Rick. Post-apocalyptic, walkers were everywhere in the United States, and they were all converging on a farm. Because of Carl's gunshot last night, they were attracted to the farm. The people on the farm remained oblivious to this. After Daryl and Glenn returned, they informed everyone about Randall turning into a walker. Daryl mentioned that they didn't find any bite marks on him. On the other side, Rick prepared to return to the farm with Carl. But suddenly, they noticed a large group of walkers behind them. Rick quickly pulled Carl and ran towards the farm. At the same time, Daryl who was preparing to search for Rick, also discovered that a large number of walkers had invaded the farm. Rick and Carl were surrounded by walkers, so they had to seek refuge in the barn. The others also spotted the group of walkers, and Herschel immediately instructed everyone to prepare their weapons for the battle. Once Rick reached the barn, he temporarily blocked the outside walkers with the barn door. However, facing the horde of walkers, the wooden door of the barn could be broken at any moment. In a critical moment, Rick found two buckets of gasoline. They poured the gasoline on the ground. Seeing that the barn door was about to give way, Rick asked Carl to climb up to the second floor of the barn and handed him a lighter. He told Carl let him light the fire when, just throw the lighter down. After Carl climbed up, Rick alone went to the entrance of the barn. He opened the door and shouted loudly, attracting more walkers to come inside. On the other side, the people on the farm also began to fight. Jimmy noticed the barn was on fire and drove Carl to assist Rick. When he brought the car over, Rick and Carl jumped onto the top of the car. However, just as Jimmy was about to go out and assist, walkers rushed in. Rick pulled Carl and ran towards the nearby woods. Meanwhile, the number of walkers in the farm kept increasing, but Herschel refused to retreat. As Lori and the others prepared to evacuate, a walker suddenly appeared and grabbed Patricia. Seeing more and more walkers pouncing on Patricia, Lori could only take Beth out of the way. T, Dog, and Andre took Lori and Beth away. Due to the increasing number of walkers near the house, when Herschel was reloading, a walker quietly approached him from behind. Thanks to Rick arriving in time to save him, Rick, Carl, and Herschel escaped from the farm. Daryl also saved Carol. Herschel felt extremely distressed, seeing his ancestral farm being destroyed like this. After a night of escape, everyone coincidentally arrived back on the previous road. First, Rick's group of three, then Daryl and Carol, and finally Lori's group. Seeing that everyone was still alive, they were all very happy. Except for those with them, others had fallen victim to the walkers. But what they didn't know was that Andre had also escaped from the farm and was currently hiding from the pursuing walkers in the woods. At the same time, Rick's group was on the run in a car. After a while, they ran out of gas and had to stop. Rick informed everyone that they would have to spend the night here and find some gasoline to continue their journey in the morning. Just as everyone was still discussing, Daryl suddenly brought up the deceased Randall. He told Rick that Randall had no bite marks but still turned into a walker. Everyone was asking Rick what was going on. After hesitating for a moment, 
Rick revealed the secret that Jenner had told him. He said they were all infected. Hearing this news, everyone couldn't accept it. Night fell, and Andre in the woods was exhausted. A walker pounced on her, and just as she was about to die, a mysterious figure appeared. Rick and the others temporarily settled in the nearby woods. But nobody dared to let their guard down because there were still many walkers nearby. Can Rick and the others break free from the siege? At this moment, the perspective shifted to the distance where a prison appeared to the north of Rick and his group. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.